Yo, what's up guys? Earl Crouchery with N3P Films here, and today I'm gonna go out and field. I'm gonna go out into nature, into the wild. See what kind of trouble I can get into. Actually, what I'm gonna be doing is testing some film rolls on my new Bronica. I don't know shit about Bronicas. All I do know is that my good friend Emily Perry told me she was at a yard sale or a garage sale and sent me a video of this dude that had film cameras as long as the devil's So I called the guy up, she gave me his number and address, went over there and I bought a couple cameras. I'm gonna be doing some videos on those cameras. Got a couple point and shoots, one for me, a couple for Nicole. Uh, and then I got this really sexy Bronica Model C. This is the Bronica Model C. This is not a popular Bronica. I've looked up videos on YouTube, there's probably, there's none. I've looked up articles about it, there's really none. It's not one of the popular Bronica models that people talk about and that people buy. So I just took a chance on it. It's from 60s, it's 1964 model, I think. The only thing wrong with it is it's got some pieces, like some of the, some of the details are coming apart. Who cares? I took it out on the house, took some photos of it. This sucker's sharp. I mean, it's sharp, baby. <laughs> So, the cost of film is going up, and up, and up. I mean, it's just not stopping. Um, so I decided to buy some cheap ass film, and go out and field, and see what I can do with it. I haven't shot these rolls before, I've never ever bought them. Um, first two rolls are Arista EDU Ultra 100 and 400, as you can see right there. And then the last one is Holga 400 Black and White Photographic Film. These are all like five or six dollars on B&H. They're all black and white. Uh, I'm not expecting them to be T-Max or anything. <laughs> but I also thought, just for context, I would take out a roll of gold 200. One roll! And so I don't have any other black and white film in my fridge right now, so I can't do like a fair comparison. So I'm gonna take out, <laughs> I'm gonna take out a roll of gold 200 and shoot this in the same sort of light uh, and just see if it's better. I mean, it's not black and white film, it's really not a fair comparison, but I just wanna see how much more detail, how much more sharpness, how much more latitude, how much more spunk there is in this versus those. I mean, this is like one of the only new 120 films that they've brought about in a long time, so everyone's like pooping their panties over it. I've shot with it, I like it, it is what it is. I think it's more about the photographer, how you shoot, what camera you shoot on than it is the film stock. Bronica? Model C, we're gonna see what we can get with it with some of these cheapy boys. And I think today we're gonna visit the historic district in the up and coming area of Irvington, Indianapolis. I brought along a really cheap light meter. I'm gonna use this for some shots. I'm also gonna use my phone's light meter for some shots. Just do a little bit of a comparison, which is more accurate. I have a feeling that this isn't that accurate. I've used it before and I think that it's just wrong, but I'm gonna do an actual test today. Irvington, Bronica C, crappy film, let's go. We're gonna start off with the Arista EDU 100 since it's just so bright out here. We're out here just on the outskirts of Irvington and there's this really old cool church right here and there's a spire tower that I wanna try and get a shot of. We're gonna start off with the uh, Arista EDU 100 since it's super bright and contrasted and I'm probably gonna pull it, probably gonna try and pull it by one stop. I don't know if this film's good enough to pull like two stops or something. I'm just not quite sure that it's good enough. Shot number one. Bada boom, bada bing. So we have only gotten about eight shots off and uh, I can get about 12 shots of 120 film on each roll of the Bronica. And uh, I mean, it's hot. 
It's real hot. We just did some shots under a bridge with more bird poop than I've ever seen in my entire life. And one big fat dead raven. But we're gonna keep going. We're almost through roll number one. And we've really kind of been on the outskirts of Irvington. Um, so we're gonna try and make our way into Irvington. A little bit uh, less city-y and less uh, I might get robbed. Cause people see these old cameras and they say, hmm, how much is that worth? That guy looks easy to beat up really easy. Yeah, let's just keep going. And so, in typical Earl tree crab fashion, I had a fuck up. Sitting here in the front seat of my car, I kept my Bronica in my front seat, and there's a switch on the side of the Bronica Model C that if you even bump it, it will switch it to double exposure. So, if you remember, I decided to pull this uh, black and white 100 by one stop, so I've been shooting everything at 50 rather than at 100 ISO because of the heavy contrast of the day of the summer day and uh, yeah so about six of the six or seven of the shots that I took were all on the same exact slide of film so here's that photo so then I decided I'd go back and try and get all of those shots again when I was all the way over in the deep heart of Irvington I had to trek all the way back to the outskirts near downtown to try and retake these shots and the lighting was totally different not quite as contrasty so I don't have a whole lot of expectation for them considering I pulled it just to help with the contrast of the light and since it was cloudy when I got back to retake them these might be a little bit flatter than I want but nonetheless roll number one is done and in typical fashion, it was just a big old crack of crap. All right, so we just finished up our first roll of this weird cheap film. This is the second roll, it's 400. I'm gonna load it up right now. And we're gonna take at least a photo of this church. I kind of like the way the light's hitting it right now. It's kind of like edging it making streaks on it, it's kind of cool. Believe it or not, this camera is actually way easier to load than my Pentax. Boy, I'm gonna pull this roll. Why would you pull it? Well, because the lighting is, for the most part, pretty flat. It's not really contrasted. Most of this scene is in shade, so there's not a whole lot of highlights. So that way I'll get a little bit more contrast, a little bit more contrast and stuff out of it. Let's try and get one in front of it. We are in the heart of Irvington. Woohoo! Take pictures of sheep. Of walls. I'm gonna back up a bit more and do that one more time. I think we're gonna have to come shopping over here. I agree. Cause I think it's pretty cute. We have to ride on this that we pulled, like we pushed it by one stop. Holga! Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, go. <laughs> Holga! Got it. It's gonna be the last roll. I was gonna try and also do a roll of Kodak Gold 200 just to see. Even though it's not black and white, I was gonna test it and see how much better it looked, but we don't have enough time, so. That sun's dipping. Yeah, we, we don't have enough time. cool shit over on this side of town. You just gotta like, come over here. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be really neat if I can get a car coming by in frame in the closest lane, ripping across the scene. I'd like it to be in the closer lane though. Yeah. 
Okay. I'd like to say that this was an easy going experience, but it wasn't really that easy. I could only do one roll by myself because managing the mic, tripod, that camera, that camera's audio, and then even just changing rolls on this, driving around, trying to look for spots, a bunch of shit flopping around in my car. It was pretty tough, but we got all three of the black and white rolls shot. We're gonna send them off to develop them and check them out. Thanks, Nicole. I owe you a beer Ooh. and a tongue kiss. Mm. Honestly, I could not get the final roll of Kodak Gold 200 shot before it got too dark out. I kept running into folks, uh, getting in conversations, met the owner of a business who invited me to play some uh, acoustic shows on Monday nights in Irvington, so this has been uh, productive. Hey, and me, I'm a jabber jaw, so I'll just go and go and go and keep going, and then I'll find something else to keep going about, and then I'll invite you over, and then we'll, we'll keep talking. It's a different day. We're going to shoot the Gold 200. We're going to walk around this area right here, take some pictures. It's a daylight balance film. Shoot it in bright light, expose for the meat for the middle, and just rate it right at its preferred 200. Let's gosh dang go. We are back at the house, put the bongos away, and we just finished up our test of cheap black and white film. We also did one roll of Kodak Gold 200, all shot on the 1964 Bronica C. I have confirmed that is the year of this release. This camera's in perfect shape. I got a, I feel like I got a, a fucking great deal on it, to be honest. Uh, the sharpness of the lens is insane. I use this camera almost exclusively handheld, as you saw in the video, a couple times at night with a tripod. I wasn't a huge fan of how my late night pictures turned out, but to be fair, kind of ran into a guy that owned a business and got to the old Midwest chit chat, and that can uh, that can take some seconds off the clock, so to speak. But I love this camera. I, I really, really like the four x four format. It's my first time using a square format, and it's challenging to say the least. It makes me almost want to go like straight on all the time. I don't really want to use like high or low angles with it, but I feel like I just need to be like more in tune with lines, line work with this camera. But anyway, I loved it. I thought the film stocks held up really great. I pushed them, I pulled them. Uh, I feel like it gave them all pretty, pretty intense challenge out in the daylight, the bright contrast, and I really like my images that I got from them. I can't say I like one or or the other more, but I definitely will be buying more when I'm trying to buy a budget option, you know? You know, you don't get the flatness of an HB5, and I don't think that the, the contrast was quite as nice as like a Delta 400, but I mean, honestly, I don't think they were really any worse. I just think they had their own characteristics. So, I mean, thumbs up to the film stocks, massive thumbs up to the Bronica. Uh, definitely gonna be doing some videos with this with some different uh, rolls of film, and got some, uh, some portrait sessions coming up that I wanna take these bad boys out. But we've got all sorts of stuff coming up on this subsidiary channel of NWP Films. Uh, but yeah, we got all sorts of stuff coming up. We've got these old cyber shots from the 90s that we wanna do some stuff with. This one's really old. This is like a 3.6 megapixel, dude. Look at this, got a Crayola. Got a Crayola Sport. We're gonna take this out and see what this thing can do. It works! Look, watch. Look at that, green light, baby. This bad boy works. 
So we're gonna take this out, do some shots with this. Just got an OEM one. This is actually Nicole's camera, I bought this for her. But the lens on it has just like a ton of fungus. So we need to get it cleaned and I wanna get a better lens for it. All sorts of stuff coming up on the channel. But yeah, like I said, just to wrap up, I thought the ADU Extra black and white film was good. The Polga 400 was really good. I really love the gold 400 shots. I had to do the gold 400 shots on a different day because I just ran out of light the first day and it was my first time doing one of these. So it was really challenging for me. And uh, yeah, the gold 400 were shot in even more contrasted light. There's I, There wasn't much I could do with the image in terms of editing them. I didn't do much editing for any of these shots because I wanted you guys to see what the real results were. So hopefully you liked what you saw. Um, if you haven't tried any of those film stocks, I highly encourage it. They all kind of, in my opinion, worked really, really great. A, a plus. Oh, well, we'll do, we'll do it. We'll do an A. We'll do an A. But the Bronica gets an A plus. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time on the channel when we do another video that I have no idea what it will be yet. So, yeah. Follow me on Instagram. You think they want to hear more bongo playing?